love the fact that I have work that allows people to make those connections and really, really enjoy uh, the pleasure and delight of really, really beautiful good food. There are so many conversations that we have to have about food and I'm convinced that a better relationship with food means a better experience of life. Making tiny changes on an individual basis is really the way forward. We are able to vote with our purchasing and to, and to vote with our forks. Deciding what we eat, how we get that food can have dramatic impacts on the livelihoods of people who work the land. I encourage people all the time to spend a week not eating anything that came in a package. Really focus on whole ingredients, uh, which forces you to take the time to cook. And that whole chain of experience where you consciously offer your time to yourself and to your food uh, will change your life. Uh, it will impact the people you buy your food from and that, that positive impact will roll right up the chain uh, across the planet. So cook real food, eat it with people you love. Uh, it will change everything. We need to lure people back into the kitchen. And I, the dream is that in 10 years you have thriving families where kids and parents and many generations of families are cooking together, that their bodies are telling the story, that we are healthier, that we are happier, that we have more knowledge and connection about where our food comes from and who produces it. Measuring success, I feel, is always a bit of a challenge. There's the sort of obvious side of things where people are eating well, and hopefully that means they're healthier and they're happier and families are thriving uh, and communities are also thriving and growing. Um, but I think that other indicators of success are things like a beautifully populated farmer's market, having a scenario where we have a food system that properly serves everybody, regardless of your ability to afford or engage with it, will be a true sign of success.